All right, Ron, I see a backpack, camping mat, a single caster. I have the slightest notion what you might be making here. I really enjoy making sort of simple but beautiful mechanical things. But I love the idea of making the original Steadicam. Oh, wow. Yeah. You have almost the uh, exact linkage you need for Steadicam yeah. right there. You're gonna you know. have to make this uh, smoother. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Add that. I, exactly. There's, a, there's a, some sticks, some stiction in there that yeah. will help you with the camera. Yeah. The stun alarm didn't really have a wide range of, of up and down motion. You can see how that contacts there. Uh, I lose some range just because of this. So, so I'm actually going to open this thing up quite a, quite a way so I can get a little bit more up and down movement out of it. I'm actually pretty impressed at how well this was put together. All right, so we're breaking down the old kid carrier here. So you're going to take the kid carrier part off yeah. and use just the frame in the backpack for your steady cam? Yeah, I like the external frame. I can clamp the steady cam mount onto it so I can have a nice H brace in the front. And that'll be your main connection point yeah. for the steady cam? The rig itself is going to connect near the base, near your, your hips or your center mass. Okay. Whenever I first started welding, it was looking like garbage and I'm just panic mode like this. There's no way I can do this if I keep laying down crappy welds. Oh, look at those. You could have a camera and a baby. Ron, how's it going, man? Uh, it's going pretty good. I think the thing I really want to show off here, uh, I got this H brace done, and this, this thing wow. is in here pretty solid. I mean, I don't even have all the hardware in there yet. And, and is that mounting on the front of the body? Yeah, so okay. you're it backwards. Okay. It, it comes up uh, pretty decent on me, but it's not like it's choking you in the chin, so it worked out a lot better than I expected. Uh, next thing I need to do is start mounting the arm. What I had to do here is uh, yeah, open that hog up. Hog out a whole bunch. Uh, hog that out. I will tell you something I know about steady cams is that movement of the brace is totally unacceptable. Yeah. Your whole core work is about keeping that pin upright. Yeah. And if it's not, everything goes cattywampus. Yeah. Uh, usually it's done that there's a hard mount between the front brace and the shoulder straps. Yeah. I once tried to make one out of a medical supply halo vest. Really? One of the things that keeps your neck rigid. Yeah. I already had lots of respect and love for Steadicam <laughs> Ops. The moment I put one on, it tripled. Yeah. It is unbelievable. It does not do any of the work for you. I, I really wanted to make a steady cam, but I, I think it was it was pretty crazy for me. I, I've never seen one. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that I've never really seen one in person. <laughs> You remember I'm using that caster as a, as a two-axis gimbal, but I'm gonna have to find a way to mount that handle onto the wheel itself. So rather than get super intrusive on the wheel, I figured I would uh, uh, wrap this band around it and then throw a bolt in there so I can tighten it together to tension it on the, on the wheel itself. Nice, check that out. Grip off of a uh, ski pole here. I mean, that'd come in handy. All right, I got that mount on the wheel here. I mean. Still got a little ways to go on this, but uh, it's starting to come together. So build day one is over. Not really super confident. <laughs> I was worried. <laughs> down and up, the spins, everything moves. It's looking like a, a steady cam from it, a academic perspective. But. It is. You know, there isn't an axis. There's not a, this axis, you're, you're I, I don't need it. You don't. I thought I was doing pretty good on the second morning and Adam shows up uh, and says, uh, you know, you got one too many axes. This is gonna cause you some headache. Uh -oh. But here we go. The, the trick to the Steadicam is it, it stays out of your way. Okay. So it ends up allowing the momentum of the camera to remain where the camera is rather than be affected by your body. How does this uh, mount to the body? Is it good? Uh, it's pretty stable. I mean, I'm gonna need somebody to, to, to put a boot in my back and tighten it up. But, All right. Um, we'll see, man. <laughs> Yeah, my, my strategy definitely really changed after uh, Adam kind of gave me a walkthrough on you know what I needed, what I didn't need. Thankfully, I had more than I needed, and I needed to remove some things. So, so really quickly, I, I ran in the back and, and started started grinding away what I didn't need. Uh, again, fired the welder up, basically fused the axis that I, I didn't need, uh, and I made a locking pin for the other one I could use if I wanted or if I didn't. And I think what I'm going to do now um, Rather than just going single threaded and making only the arm type study cam, what I'd like to do is keep the removable handle piece like I have it and uh, make this sort of a, a convertible. You know, if I could take the handle off and uh, use the camera off 
the rig, then that would be pretty cool. And, and one, of the, you know, one of the camera guys goes, oh yeah, that's called a glide cam. It's getting there. I guess, okay, I've never heard of that. I guess I could make that. So one hour left, it was all, all polish work mainly, uh, getting the balance and the weight right making sure everything was lubricated properly. And it, and it got to that point, and it was, it was diminishing returns. Like, you know, the more I touch this thing, the more I'm just gonna screw it up. So I, I have two completely different objects that work decently well for 14 hours worth of work. So pretty happy about that. What Ron's gonna end up with isn't a Steadicam. Mm -hmm. I, I think that he's ending up with the aesthetics of a Steadicam, but not the functionality. It's, it's a, the representation of a Steadicam. Yeah, turn it into the aliens <laughs> with the gun. If he was thinking he might do that and turn it into a smart gun holder, if he could build a smart gun in two hours, that would be <laughs> great. My bow is just too hard to pull, so I'm baking in a curve. And you're getting a proper amount of springiness? I don't know about proper, but it's much better than it was when it was flat.